All right, here we are in the garage, and I have been working on this trunk that uh, every step of the way in this project has been absolutely kicking my ass. Uh, so finally, I got the latch mechanism working on it. When we first started working on the trunk here, had a lot of problems just trying to get the hinges where we need them because of the angle of the of the trunk and everything. So my dad and I had spent time on that, and it took us forever to finally get the trunk hinges working. So Next up was trying to get this latching mechanism working on the trunk, um, and it's just been an entire pain. Uh, so yesterday, it defeated me. I wasn't able to get the latching mechanism to work. Uh, I have my Subaru in the, in the uh, driveway here, where I was able to take a little bit uh, closer look at the angles and the way that the latching mechanism and the striker was working there. So this was, was nasty, so we've got just a prop up on it right now. So right now, you can see when it uh, pops down into here, it latches in and won't go. So anybody doing this kind of work in fabrication on, on a trunk, uh, I highly recommend cutting yourself a nice little port hole here so that you can see down inside. Because the problem is everything is sealed inside of here, so you can't actually see it. Uh, on, on the mechanisms here. So I've got my nice little cutout here, the piece fits right back in and I'll be able to fiberglass that back in. The other thing is I do plan on having this as a power trunk uh, to pop it and so there's a, a popper on, on the actual latch mechanism and then there's also a popper on the striker itself. So uh, I made sure that I had a cable out here on the striker so I'll be able to hide this on the outside of the car just in case my power goes down and I need to get into the trunk. Um, so I've got that. So this is just a pull, nice little pull switch. You can hear it kind of pulling the latch in there on the striker and when it pulls there it actually pops and now I can get my trunk back open again. Uh, so this is quite handy. The cable runs back to there. I gotta tuck it in. Uh, so this is, uh, this is kind of uh, the way that everything turned out on here. So uh, we'll take a little bit of a closer look at, at the, uh, the latch and the striker now. So here's a little bit of a better view of the latch itself on here. So I used everything as um, basically some uh, half inch plywood to be able to make my uh, frame on it here. This will all end up getting fiberglassed all around it and in on here. I've got enough room on the side here to be able to run a, a cable and stuff over there for the power popper. Uh, the other thing that got me on my Subaru is this little cancel switch here. So I actually welded it so that it can't pop up. So this is what's actually used to open up the latch and allow uh, it to open there. So I had in my Subaru, this uh, cancel switch was up, had all my stereo equipment in the back of the car, and I was actually working on my cable for the striker to open it. And this thing was up and my trunk was sealed shut. So the only way that I could get in is I actually had to cut a hole in my trunk to be able to get in to put the popper on here. So this is the, uh, the latch mechanism. Um, so that light was, uh, you know, the porthole in here, getting you can see the hand kind of goes through, allows you to get in and work on the different pieces that are down in there. So you can see here that we've actually got it embedded. I've got a nice metal plate on there that's screwed in that'll get fiberglassed over. Uh, and then there's some little um, nuts welded onto the back that uh, allow it to fasten in. Then looking down in here, we actually have the striker that's in. So when I first had it, I only had it this wide, but that wasn't giving me enough of an angle for it to come in here and to get clearance on the back of the lip. Um, so created a couple little extender pieces that come across here. This is just the wiring to let me know that the trunk's open or closed. Uh, and then we can see the cable here running back and across and, and up in. So this is the striker. When it pulls uh, the cable, this thing actually pops that cancel, that little latch that we saw on the latch, and it pops it open uh, and gets everything going in here. So. This stuff will all end up being uh, fiberglassed here and then I'll end up having a nice little trim piece that will cover all of this stuff in here so that you won't see it and just opens up enough for the, uh, the latch to be able to come down in. So that is the, uh, the trunk finally working. Um, next uh, wonderful task will be putting weather seal uh, down in along here. Probably need to make it a little U trough uh, coming all the way down the side with some rubber seal on it. That again will be another pain in the ass, but uh, all will be work that'll be finished work. So now I actually have the good mechanical parts of the trunk working. I had welded in these, um, these braces here at the top now instead of having them just bolted to the body. 
So everything should be aligned. Uh, on the back here, I actually have uh, notches on these so I can actually move the striker up and down to adjust it just in case uh, I need a little bit more, uh, more space in there. So that's, uh, that's the trunk, finally working. Uh, probably next up, I gotta figure out how to attach these darn exhaust tips onto the back uh, and maybe make some jack points uh, as well to be able to get a, a jack underneath the car. So that's it for the trunk. Thanks for watching.